What are you doing? What? I'm doing Romanian deadlifts. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm documenting my journey to lose 100 pounds. In today's video, I am going to do a quick weigh-in update for you. It's been a full year since I started my weight loss journey, so I wanted to do a from the very beginning to now type video so you can see where I started and how far I've come. So I'm going to do it complete with pictures and measurements and of course my weight, so let's go get started. I thought at my heaviest that I weighed 248.8 pounds, but when I was looking through the few pictures I have from before my weight loss to get ready for this video, I saw this one from a trip we took to Florida where I had lost about 15 pounds before we left, and I feel like I look like I weighed around 248 pounds in it. So it's possible that my actual heaviest weight was more than 248.8 pounds, but I have no way to be sure. Looking back at these pictures, I can see how unhappy I was. I felt horrible pretty much all the time. My IBS was out of control, I was constantly tired, and I really didn't ever want to do anything. I was embarrassed of my weight, and because of that, I didn't ever want to go anywhere. I was depressed and just felt completely miserable. I have social anxiety like I've mentioned before, but it was made a lot worse by being completely uncomfortable in my own skin. This picture, in particular, is really hard for me to look at. I took this photo, under duress I might add, and never intended for anyone to actually see it. But it's the only photo we have of my stomach before we started this, so I'm showing it now. It's super embarrassing, but part of me is happy that I have it so that I can see the changes that I've made. I'm really happy that Chris again convinced me to take these before pictures so I have them to compare with now. I was embarrassed and didn't want to get my picture taken at all, but I'm glad that I did. These are from the very beginning of my weight loss journey, March 8th, 2020, and I weighed 248.8 pounds. We took photos to mark my six month progress on September 22nd, 2020. I weighed 220 pounds in the updated photos. At this point, I'd lost 28.8 pounds. I made most of my progress in the beginning of my journey. It's definitely slowed down a bit since I started. And sometimes that frustrates me, but really I'm okay with it. I know that the changes I've made are lasting changes and I'm really proud of myself for getting this far. Then in October, 2020, I decided to try a Chloe Ting challenge. I started the challenge on October 22nd, which was six days after my birthday, and Chris and I had eaten donuts and a few other birthday treats, and so my weight had gone up to 221.8 pounds when the start pictures were taken. After the challenge, I'd gotten back down to 216.4 pounds. Then after a few months of not being sure about doing my YouTube channel and kind of falling off the rails a little, I wanted to start being more consistent with my channel and really trying to continue to lose weight. So I weighed in again on February 13th, 2021 at 218 pounds. So that brings us to now. This morning, April 1st, I weighed in at 211.8 pounds. I'm at my lowest weight since I can remember. I've lost 6.2 pounds in about seven weeks, which is right about where I wanna be, losing about one pound a week. Since the start, I've lost a total of 37 pounds. My progress hasn't been linear. I've had times where I gained instead of lost, but overall my progress has been downward and I'm happy with it. I still have quite a ways to go, but I am proud of myself for making it this far. It's been a long time since I was this close to being under 200 pounds and I can't wait till I get there. When I started getting ready for this video, I realized that I haven't been taking enough pictures while on my journey, so I'm gonna be doing a weigh-in video like this every month where I take updated pictures and measurements so I have them to compare. Speaking of measurements, let's take a look at those now. When I started this weight loss journey, I didn't take any measurements because honestly, I didn't really know what I was doing. So my overall inches lost is obviously higher than what this says. I just don't have all the data to go off of. But you can see that I've lost a total of six and a half inches since October 15th, 2020. I know that most people want to lose their weight as fast as possible. And in the past, and still I guess sometimes now, I feel that way too. But this time I really wanna make changes that will last. And I feel like for me, that means losing the weight slowly. 
I also, like I've said before, want to minimize any loose skin I may have from losing weight, and I really think giving my body time to adjust to the weight coming off will help. I honestly have no idea if that really will help, but I'm just wanting to do everything I can to try not to get it. One of the main reasons that I want to lose weight slower is that I don't have to be in such a crazy calorie deficit to do that, so it's less uncomfortable for me and I get to eat more. I was talking to Chris the other day and I really think that when you're overweight like I am, you feel like you're not allowed to like to eat. Like enjoying food is embarrassing and something you should be ashamed of. But I'm not. I like food and I love eating. So I don't think I could have gotten to the point that I did if I didn't like food. One of the greatest things that I've discovered about losing weight is that I don't have to eat less food. I just have to eat less calories. I spend a lot of time looking for lower calorie snacks and I'm super excited about what I'm about to show you next. Okay, so it is actually April 2nd now, but I got something in the mail today that I'm super excited about and I wanted to make sure that I showed you. So I got my brand new popcorn popper. So we're gonna set this up real quick and I'm going to make popcorn using this thing for, for the first time. It'll be fun. So I ran out of popcorn, so I had to get a new bag because I eat a lot of popcorn. So, Maybe loud, I'm not sure. The other one that I had was really loud. This is good. I love this white cheddar. The Colonel Seasons white cheddar is by far my favorite one. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my popcorn. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here after I'm done chewing. Thanks so much for watching if you made it all the way through. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video for me and subscribe and I will see you next time. See ya.